the iPhone, also known as the iPhone 2G, iPhone 1 or original iPhone is the first smartphone designed and marketed by Apple Inc. After years of rumors and speculations, it was officially announced on January 9, 2007 and was released in the United States on June 29, 2007. The development of the iPhone as a product began in 2005 and continued in complete secrecy until its public unveiling. The device broke with prevailing mobile phone designs by eliminating most physical hardware buttons and eschewing a stylus for its screen-based interface, instead featuring only a few physical buttons and a touchscreen. It featured quad-band GSM cellular connectivity and GPRS and Edge support for data transfer and made use of continuous internet access and onboard processing to support features unrelated to voice communication. Its successor, the iPhone 3G, was announced on June 9, 2008. The iPhone quickly became Apple's most successful product, propelling it to the most profitable company at the time. The introduction of the App Store allowed established companies and startup developers to build carriers and earn billions of dollars via the platform, while providing consumers with new ways to access information and connect with other people. The iPhone largely appealed to general public as opposed to the business community BlackBerry and IBM focused on at the time, and by integrating existing technology and expanding on usability, the iPhone turned the smartphone industry on its head. In 1999, Apple CEO Steve Jobs envisioned an Apple touchscreen product that the user could interact with directly with their fingers rather than a stylus. The stylus was a common tool for many existing touchscreen devices at the time, including Apple's own Newton, launched in 1993. He decided that the device would require a capacity multi-touch touchscreen, a very new and advanced technology at the time. This helped with removing physical keyboard and mouse, the same as was common at the time for tablet computers, human machine interfaces and point of scale systems. Job recruited a group of Apple engineers to investigate the idea as a side project. When Jobs revealed the prototype and its user interface, he saw the potential in developing the concept into a mobile phone to compete with already established brands in the emerging market for touchscreen phones. The whole effort was called Project Purple 2 and began in 2005. Apple purchased the iPhone.org domain in December 1999. Apple created the device during the secretive and unprecedented collaboration with Singular Wireless now a part of the AT&T. The development cost of the collaboration was estimated to have been around $150 million. Over a 30-month period, Apple rejected design-by-committee approach that had yielded the Motorola ROKR E1, a largely unsuccessful collaboration with Motorola. Instead, Singular Wireless gave Apple the liberty to develop the iPhone's hardware and software in-house. The original iPhone was introduced by Steve Jobs on January 9, 2007 in a keynote address at the Macworld Conference and Expo held in Moscone West in San Francisco, California. In his address, Jobs said, This is a day that I have been looking forward for two and a half years. And that, today, Apple is going to reinvent the phone. Jobs introduced the iPhone as a combination of three devices, a widescreen iPod with touch controls, a revolutionary mobile phone, and a breakthrough internet communicator. Six weeks prior to the iPhone's release, the plastic screen was replaced with glass. After Jobs was upset that the screen of the prototype he was carrying in his pocket had been scratched by his keys. The quick switch led to bidding process for manufacturing contractor that was won by Foxconn, which had just opened up a new wing of its Shenzhen factory complex specifically for this bid. 